Welcome back to World Drum Club, everyone. I'm Kalani, your host and teacher. In this video, I'm gonna share with you a implement idea, an alternative to wooden sticks that you're gonna find that you can make yourself. They're more durable than wood. They sound great. They're actually better for lower, when you want lower volume. And they're just really cheap and easy. It's a DIY uh, drumstick. But I'll, we'll talk about why that's important as we go through this. So this kind of stick, um, is traditionally used for the bells and blocks. And that could be in music ed, drum circles, any kind of group drumming, where you need uh, a lot of little sticks for people and you wanna play things like the temple block or the cowbell. And I wanna direct your attention down to the overhead view where you can see I've got a mambo bell, cha-cha bell, temple block or tone block, another kind of uh, block, rasper block, and, and this agogo bell, the double bell. So I'm gonna be playing some of these for you and then I'm gonna show you an alternative to this wooden style stick. Now this is called a circle stick. Actually, it's Kalani's circle sticks that were made by Vic Firth. They're not made anymore, unfortunately, even though people love them. This uh, came to me when I was doing a lot of group drumming stuff and I needed some smaller sticks. And so what I did is I was cutting timbali sticks in half and that was working really well. And you can do that too. You can still make these by taking a timbali stick cutting it in half, but then you have to round the edges and then you have a bunch of little sticks, which is great. But I'm gonna show you another alternative to that that might even be better. But here's what this sounds like, um, like on the Mambo Bell, for example. All right, and on the block, there's the Cha-Cha Bell. All right, so you get the idea. Here's the other, other little tone block and the I'll go go. All right, so it sounds great, no problem. But here is what I'm most excited about, and I just discovered this the other day. This is a stick that I made. I'm kind of calling this the super stick because it's lightweight, it sounds good, sounds fine. It's a little bit softer than the wood. You can tell there's a little bit of give to it. So as a result, the volume is a little bit lower, which is, I think, a good thing, especially because a lot of you play inside and you have classrooms or you have drum circle events that are indoors. A lot of these instruments are actually not really designed to play inside, but we do play them inside. So that's a plus that it's a little bit lower volume. But here's the good news is you can make these yourself by going down to your favorite um, home, you know, home, what do you call it? Like Home Depot. Um, or Lowe's, or your local hardware store, and you can get what they call PEX tubing. And PEX tubing is used in plumbing. So go to the plumbing area. Here's a shot from my Home Depot uh, where I bought this one, and you can get lengths of this, and it's pretty cheap, under two bucks for a length of this, and I got about eight sticks out of, the, out of that. So, you know, pretty cheap, uh, 25 cents a stick, basically. Uh, and you could just cut them to whatever length you want. Um, you could do a little bit of sanding or whatever on the ends, you don't have to, it's very low maintenance. And now you've got however many sticks you wanna create um, with this PEX tubing. And the thing that's nice about this stuff is it's virtually indestructible. It's gonna take a lot of hammering and wailing and beating <laughs> to destroy this. Um, and it's lighter, it's about 50% of the weight of wood. So it's hollow super lightweight, and it, like I said, it sounds fine. You can compare that to the wood. I actually, in some ways, prefer the sound because it, you don't get as much of the stick sound, you just get more of the instrument, the bell, or the block sound. So, that's from me to you. That's a DIY stick tip. Create your own sticks on PEX tubing, and there's different sizes of PEX tubing. So this is the little stick size, but you can get bigger sticks if you have dundunes or bass drums or other instruments that you wanna have a little bit bigger stick, you can get a bigger size of PEX and cut them to whatever size you want, all right? You learned this here on World Drum Club. That's a World Drum Club original tip for you. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Support the channel at patreon.com slash Kalani. But at the very least, subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss any notifications of new videos. Thanks for being here on World Drum Club. Thanks for being a fan. 
Go out and make some great music. Help some people feel better through music. I'm Kalani. I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.